Hey, good day. Welcome back to the channel. My uh, Ranger here. The auto start stop says vehicle charging. So we're going to go ahead and I got this little battery tester that somebody sent me back in like January, February. So we're going to go ahead and test the battery on this thing. See how many volts we have and see how many cranking amps we have. And I'm going to show you how to do that. It may just because of the weather change and, and the temperature change and all that stuff. Um, just, I haven't been driving a whole lot. I just I go to work, come home. So nothing major, hopefully. But let's go ahead and turn around and check that out. So here's a little battery charger somebody sent me from Harbor Freight. I did a little review on it. This battery is a BAGM 48H6 760. So that's uh, 760 cold cranking amps. So, <clears throat> open that up there. Take the positive end, connect it there. Take the negative end, connect it there. We're gonna hit this power button. Okay, we're gonna change this by using the up button to seven. Hit select, move the up button, and this is 760. Cold cranking amp, hit okay. Twelve point five eight volts, four point eight nine mega ohms. Select five hundred and forty one cold cranking amps, seven hundred and sixty rated, and it's at about eighty percent. So it's getting kind of down there. It's getting some use out of it. Maybe start time to looking for a new battery, and that may be why it's telling me charging vehicle because of the cold cranking amps. Still got pretty good voltage on it. So I may be looking at getting a new battery here pretty soon just to be on the safe side. And that just gives me an idea. It's not an actual battery test. Do a visual inspection, everything's tight. Obviously the fuses are good. That's plugged in. That's tight, that's tight. So, and this is the battery monitor sensor. So, yeah, maybe time to look at a new battery. And so you saw, I have 12.5 volts on it with 4.8 something mega ohms, but my cold cranking amps is down a little bit. If I drive around, bring that cold cranking amps back up, or I could just be looking at getting a new battery. This battery is three years old, going on four. So, still in pretty decent shape, just not enough for the, the auto start system to shut off and then start the truck back up. So we'll go from there and I'll keep you updated on that.